Thank you, Bohemia. And I guess that's dedicated to any uh, ragtime musician because we are all indeed Bohemians. You know, I mean, you have to be. You have to be a little odd to want to do this, this stuff. Although it is lovely, isn't it? I mean, it's just so happy. It just like, you know, I, I've enjoyed this time here uh, in Mississippi so much. I, I was picked up all the way from Jackson a few nights ago by Glenn, who uh, works in the library and has been such an integral part of working on this. And he has not had any recognition yet, so just uh, at least tonight. So thank you, Glenn. And uh, it was a delightful ride. I found out all the different ways that you pronounce words that we have up north that we don't pronounce that way. Uh, Philadelphia, for instance, um, which, you know, I mean, we say Philadelphia, but I kind of, your way is nicer, so I'm going to start using it. Uh, and then uh, there, there was a, there's a place in New York called Kosciusko Academy. <laughs> it's kind of funny, isn't it? Because it's, down here it's Kosi, thank you, Kosciusko. You say tomato. So this next piece uh, is one that Dave Jason mentioned today. Hardly anybody does. And you'll find out midway through there's a reason for that. It's a very difficult piece. But what the heck, I'm going to try it. It's called The Efficiency Rag, written by James Scott. He's the last of the grade three. And then we can go on to the stuff that I actually do. So here we go. This is James Scott's Efficiency Rag. Save me. It's used now. Uh oh, I'm probably in trouble. I should take that off. Although it takes the glare away, doesn't it? <laughs> the Steinway people would like to, me to let you know that I'm playing a Baldwin tonight. Thank you, uh, thank you. James Scott called out the efficiency rag because he wrote every note on the piano into that piece, and that's, uh, that was very efficient. As a matter of fact, he should have just stopped there. <laughs> 